There are many things we can do to edit a design in Hatch. We might change the stitch type, change the underlay, resequence the object, modify object shapes, and even more. I'm Lindy Goodall, and in this video we'll focus on the reshape tool. This is the Hatch Chef Master Design from the included library. Let's do a little reshaping on the hat. Select the object you want to edit by clicking on it. Then I'm going to click on the reshape tool. The shortcut for the reshape tool is H. I'll zoom in on this, press B on the keyboard, drag a selection box around it. These lines with little orange boxes on them are angle lines. And if I hover over one of the squares, you can see that it tells me the angle. If I want to adjust the angle, I can just move one of those lines. Nodes on the outline control the shape. So here we have a little turquoise circle, and down here we have a yellow square. We have yellow squares there on the end, some turquoise circles on the curves. So that should give you a clue. A round circle gives you a curve point, and a square node gives you a corner or a straight line. So let's make the hat a little poofier. And I can do that by just clicking on one of the nodes and dragging it up. I can also drag a selection around both of those nodes, drag them both up. If I want to connect these at the ends, let's say that I want to make sure that I don't have any jumps or trims there, I can move my nodes so that they connect. Now suppose that I want to change a curved node to a straight one. Select the object, press H, and all I have to do is click on it and press the space bar, and it will change just like that. Let's undo that. So Control Z. You can add nodes by left clicking on the outline for a straight or corner point and right clicking for a curve. So if I needed to change this and make it a little more pointy, I can left click there, left click there, and left click there, and put a little point there. If I need to make it have more curves, I can right click. and just move my curves around. So it's the same for digitizing. Left click for straight points or corners and right click for curves. We've gotten that pretty wonky, so let's undo it back to its normal state. Now let me give you a warning about adding nodes. You only want to add the number required. You don't want to have more nodes than you need because it gets harder to edit. So if you want to reshape this line, look how many more nodes you'd have to move around. When you're finished reshaping, just press Escape. Reshaping lets you fine-tune your designs just the way you want them. 